as part of the ongoing island-wide tropical race for awareness campaign undertaken by the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development. A sensitization forum engaging St. Lucia Air and Seaport Authority SLASPA staff was held on Monday, July 24, 2023 at the SLASPA conference room. The focus of the activity was to create heightened awareness and engage SLASPA staff in early detection and preventative measures of the TR4 pathogen under the guidance of the TR4 committee chair, Winston Elliott. An awareness program for all relevant stakeholders like yourselves, farmers, custom staff, ICA, Stevie Dawes, is necessary to prevent the introduction and spread of Fusarium will TR4. When stakeholders are aware, they can contribute substantially to early detection of likely sources of transmission, surveillance reporting, and managing this pest. Seizing the opportunity to convey the importance of a pathogen 3 agricultural sector in stabilizing the livelihoods of farmers and the maintenance of a sustainable food security system is Director of Agricultural Services, Dr. Oria King Snack. TR4 not only threatens our food security, but also the livelihood of millions of people globally who rely on bananas and plantains as cash crops. And our farmers and their families are, are not spared. As a transboundary soil borne fungus, TR4 is recognized as one of the most destructive pests in the history of agriculture and the world's greatest threat to the banana and plantain production. To date, the pathogen has not been detected in St. Lucia. However, taking no chances and on heightened alert, a SLASPA director of Seaports, Adrian Hiller, who embraced the coordinated communication and surveillance strategies between the Agricultural Ministry and SLASPA. So SLASPA, uh, our staff at the airports and seaports, we give the commitment that management and staff will be working very closely, continue the collaboration. We'll do everything that we have to do to give support because, I mean, the impact, the impact is very significant. Um, we have seen the decline of the banana industry and the... The, the, the threat for St. Lucia is that we do not have very large farms. We have a number of small farms. So if you impact one, it's not like you can simply do some intervention. For one, you have to try to see how you could. It's all over the place. And I think together we can. The Ministry of Agriculture continues to engage stakeholders around the island in the development and implementation of Tropical Reefs for preventative strategies. From the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Chevroy Marius.